The Titleist GT just launched, but the main question people really want to know is how does it differ to the previous models? So we've got the TSR GT series, we're going to compare the two, three and four models uh, with driver and three within the two and the three and the driver and the four, and look at what are the actual differences in performance that you're going to see from the new head to the previous model. Let's get some data. So from a driver point of view, this is my, my shaft. I use a TSR series driver head. So it's so on the tightest tip, I can use my exact driver shaft and just switch the different heads over onto it. So the only variables are going to be uh, the head styles. We've got the heads exactly the same weight, uh, hence just a little bit of fine tuning on the weight on the bottom of this that you can see uh, exactly the same loft settings. So we'll get the data between the two and compare what you're going to expect to see between one model and the next. So. You're moving into TSR2, starting with the 2 Series, um, that slightly elongated back, very stable. It's been a really good performer this last year or so, so um, really solid head. So, little toe side, so you definitely feel a little bit of the miss hit on the TSR2 um, with the titanium crown. Um, just has that slightly higher pitch note onto it, so that one's going to knuckle being toey, going to knuckle the spin off a little bit. So let's see if I can catch it a bit more central. So solid, you can definitely notice the miss hits off this. Um, so switch that around to the GT2, get a comparison. So switching to the GT, we've got the, uh, the composite crown, the wraparound crown. Um, that's gonna change the acoustics a little bit, but that's facilitated the moving weight. So we've managed to move, we, Titleist, managed to move a little bit of weight forward in the head, and a little bit of weight back through the weight saving in the crown. So this should change performance a little bit. You know, very, very similar visual, uh, you know, classic tightless shape, which is always going to appeal to a lot of players. A yeah, little bit toe side, so actually very similar strike to first shot with TSR2. Notably a little bit more launch on that uh, and stayed very, very straight. Slightly toned down note on the head due to the composite on the crown. So again, let's see if I can catch the middle a little more. Again, neither of those is right out the middle, so actually quite a good test of this head to see how stable does it hold flight. So let's get a comparison. So quite interesting data, because none of those were great contacts for me. Um, so the TSRs I got both a little bit out the toe, which always takes a bit of spin off, uh, but the second shot out of the GT was heel side, and we normally see quite a difference in spin. So I went a, a bit turn, a bit heel with the GT series. And the number that's really key here is that tolerance rate on the spin. So we can see that number, the 270, that's the tolerance top to bottom, and that's a toe and a heel strike. So to have uh, that little of a, of a spread across a toe and a heel contact, that's really pretty impressive, because I'd expect that to be way up. So you get a knuckleball out the toe, and a, and a you know, kick up and spin out the heel. But that's quite a tight number. Um, so anything sub 300, I'm really pleased with. Um, so you know, both shots out the toe out of the TSR, so the spin's that little bit lower. Um, but otherwise, very, very similar delivery. A little bit more launch from GT. Uh, again, that's something with the lighter crown, putting the weight down the bottom. Expect to see that little bit more of a kick up. Um, but the other aspect is not really lost too much ball speed from the heel strike on the GT as well. So considering neither were perfect strikes, I think what we can see out of both heads are very good actually in that respect. But are really, considering the strike point was more varied on the GT to the TSR, that consistency on spin, really impressive. Let's see how the fairways compare. So into the three woods where I'm expecting to see a little bit more of a differential, there's a, a bigger percentage change in the crown weight. Um, so you know, five times lighter on the fairway versus three times lighter on the driver, which allows on the GT the weight to sit a little lower. So let's see with TSR2 how this one performs. I'm gonna pick both of these because that's really where the GT is designed to perform a little bit better and just see where that, uh, where that comes out performance wise. I say I'm going to pick it, I've absolutely nuked that. So that's actually come off the face really well. So this will be interesting to see where that launch and spin compares. So she felt a really solid contact. So potentially maybe that was a little bit healy because I didn't expect to see that shape. Okay, solid hit. So both of those are really solid hits. So let's switch it around and see where the data changes again into GT2. Noticeably a bit of a flatter sole, so that's something that with the GT series of both fairways, they flatten that off to get the toe and the heel sitting a bit lower, rather than having to get the strike out the middle. Um, 
this gives you a little bit more face to use. So as it sits, you can see a little bit more face down at the bottom of the ball here. So how does it perform? Again, very different sound. There's a bit more of a, well, what I describe as a bit of a pop. Um, it's not quite as harsh a note off of it, but felt, again, felt really solid behind the ball. Um, you know, very, very stable shot out of that one. So it's definitely noticeably a little bit of a higher flight, and this is something that, uh, you know, from where it's hitting the screen, it appears to be up a little bit quicker, which is part of the design. So how do the numbers compare again? So more of a difference on this one, as we expected. You know, Titus made a big deal about the fairway. They were really excited about the differences there. And what we can see here, whilst on the averages of the couple of shots, the spin's only 24 revolutions difference. We've got three quarters of a degree more launch out of GT2. So again, that lighter crown, heavier sole, that's picked the flight up a little bit more. But what we need to look at here is that tolerance on spin. So on the TSR2, getting one a little toe side, one a little heel side, there's a 700 rev tolerance top and bottom. So that's a 1500 revolution difference, which is massive. We're at 100 revolutions out of the GT and the second one was a bit toe side. So much, much tighter flight dispersion, keeping a little bit more launch. Your angle of attack is actually half a degree down on the GT and dead flat on the TSR. So actually, you know, TSR performed maybe a little better than I might have given it credit for at the initial, initial part of the video. But you know what, the launch angle and the spin and the stability of that, the consistency, that is where this, this head has a marked advantage over TSR too. So well done Titus to that. What they've, you know, they put their money where their mouth was, they were excited about GT2. That is a good performing club head. Let's see what the threes do. So now we're into the three series. So the three series, a little more compact, a little bit more versatility, both in TSR and GT with the, the adjustable weight, the movable weight, which moves the center of mass a little toe side or a little heel side, dependent on your strike point. Um, but you know, split mass on the GT. So let's see where these performance gains. TSR three, again, very strong performer this last year or so. Um, strong enough for me to put one in the bag. So uh, we'll uh, get that comparison between these two now and see how much of a leap forward there's been. So a little more compact shape, just a very, very you know, neutral shaping to the head. Uh, I think there's a big appeal to that for a lot of players. So slightly more solid feel being a little more compact, um, which is, yeah, my own personal preferences I quite like. Yeah, solid strike. So really gutsy, solid feel. Slightly higher pitch note from the all titanium crown. Let's go to GT. So into the GT. So with the GT3, the weight, the adjustable weight port's gone to the front. Just moving that weight deeper and a little further forwards. And they've also added that bit of weight to the back because of that split mass tech. So something that should give in principle, good ball speed, but also a little bit of stability across the face as well. You know, the same, very, very similar shaping. A yeah, really nice classic shape, something I'm used to seeing behind the ball playing the TSR myself. So really kind of familiar, nice familiar look to it. Definitely less of a difference in feel between GT3 and TSR3. So that same kind of solid contact to it. Um, you know, potentially just that, again, maybe a little bit more stability. I think there's less of a feel difference. I think the extra stability that's the back of the head with the TS, the GT2 was a little more noticeable. But again, really solid and stable. So let's check the data out. So between these two, a little less of a difference on ball speed. And you know, if anything, you know, this might be familiarity for me with the TSR three head being the one that I use. A uh, slightly better strike onto that, so I just might be dialed into the contact point with that. However, again, what we can see between these two models is that spin consistency, the tolerance. So low spin out the TSR, I've got one little bit toey, which just knuckle the spin off a bit more. But you know, 184 revs on the GT, 400 on the TSR3. So again, that consistency of spin, just like the GT2 versus TSR2, GT3 is more stable on the various strike points on spin. And a little bit more launch um, for those couple of hits. Bit more flight, now there are human variables in there. Um, the face to the path is a little bit less closed. You know, path, angle of attack, you know, pretty darn similar, path identical but the face is closed a bit more on the TSR3, which is gonna pull that flight down a little bit. So part of it's due to that. But again, it's that stability on flight. Really, really impressive. Actually, a very similar spin between 
GT3 and GT2, but a launch angle differential and a forgiveness differential, but a bit more speed that I'm getting out of GT3 versus TSR versus GT2, um, which is, again, that, that weight more forwards, that's what pulls the ball speed up a little bit. So again, we're seeing exactly what they say on the tin. Uh, a little bit more, you know, half a yard more yardage for me from GT3 versus TSR3. But if you are getting variable spin rates, there's definitely an area to work on or that you can see from the GT3 where that ups the performance level that little bit. Onto the fairways again. So onto the three woods, the TSR3 was a bit of a bullet this year. So slightly more compact, both heads a little more compact than the two series, slightly deeper. Um, you know, we've got that adjustable weight track on the front that stays the same on GT. So again, let's check out, you know, this one's a steel crown to the composite crown. That's the biggest change. So we'll check out the flight differences between them. But you know, TSR3 is generally someone for higher speed, higher flight, higher spin, uh, help to pair that down a little bit. So we'll see how the two compare. Yeah, so got that a little low on the face. That's not a particularly nice feeling. Wasn't a great strike, not a bad swing, but that feels like that's really punished me for that. Um, I'm just gonna get, get into this a little bit more. I think that was always the thing with the three series needed trapping slightly more. Yeah, so I've got down into that, so it's flighted up a little bit more. I'm gonna give that one more go because that first strike was horrific, but definitely, not that easy to get the strike point right on this. Definitely feel like going to this is just harder work than any of the other heads to get the best contact from. Yeah, so pretty good, but still felt a little bit low on the face. This one feels quite hard work to get into the bottom of the ball to get that contact point. So we really should see a good difference to the GT head. So into GT3, again, weight track forward, visually slightly deeper face, but again, really nice, sort of clean, simple, compact head. Um, you know, we know it sits a little bit neater because of that flatter sole, but you know, that, that TSR3 did, didn't really like my miss hits. So let's see how this one behaves. And immediately that just feels so easy. Uh, that is, I'm not just saying this, this is, you know, we, we're not, we're not paid by anyone to say anything, but that felt like a completely different animal to the TSR3. Um, TSR felt like if you were a very particular ball strike and particular delivery of the club, then it works really well. That just feels like there is so much more club face to hit the ball with. So I think we're gonna see a pretty significant data change on this. So averages across those, and there was a pretty ropey low strike out of the TSR three as the first one, but there's a huge difference here. We've got a, you know, Half a mile an hour more club speed with TSR3, but five miles an hour less ball speed. That's a significant drop off in performance. And it felt that way. It felt like I had to work really hard to find the face out of TSR3. GT just felt like I had the, so much club head to use. Um, and what we can see here, I get 800 revolution tolerance on TSR, 97 on GT. That is a vast difference. But the GT is producing more launch and less spin. It's a stronger shot. Now that will be influenced by that first shot. Um, so if I take out, not into sort of sugar coating, I take out the first horrific hit that was almost missed the bottom of the face, and then we go back and say, right, how does that compare? You know, we're still four miles an hour off on ball speed. We're still you know, more similar on launch and spin, but the tolerance is 600 revs versus 97. I'm still 13 yards longer with that GT3 than the TSR3. And that is a big, big difference. And there's also the confidence element to it. Hitting the TSR, I feel like I've got to get it spot in every time. That, that GT head feels like you've got the whole face to strike. Very impressed, very impressed, Titleist. So for good reason, I've left the toughest till last, the four series. So with these heads, I'm gonna test them both with the heavyweight forward. They've got an eight gram differential in the weights on both heads, same head weight. So we're testing like for like, um, but I've gone low heavyweight forward because it's the low spin head. We want the lowest spin. Let's test it in this lower spin setting. Wish me luck. So very compact, tight, simple, clean shape of head. Really kind of you know, old school, pretty. So whilst a solid hit, very aware that that was a bit out the heel. You know, it's, it's not 
vibrating and twisting all over the place. Uh, and actually that looks a pretty stable flight, um, all things said. Um, and just looking at the spin on that one at 2000, it stayed pretty low, but I know that wasn't out the middle. That head tells me everything about that strike. So pretty solid contacts, not absolutely middle, middle each one, but could be quite revealing from a flight point of view and efficiency relative to GT4, which we will go and hit now. So into the GT4, obviously you've got the construction difference on the crown, nothing else really that different. Okay, the internal workings, but it's not, we're not seeing the main differences like we've seen on GT3 with the weight position and moving forward, the adjustable weight or, or TSR to GT2 with the slightly deeper back. So very, very similar visual. So it's really all about the numbers and the performance with this one. Again, you do you still get a sense of the contact. Um, it's actually still a really nice head from a feel point of view. If you're looking at that solid contact, this this gives you a really sturdy feel of club on back of the ball. Okay, pretty so I think pretty representative between the two club heads. So this will be an interesting one. So as the weight goes forward, we're seeing ball speed just creep up with each one. And this is the, the lowest spin for non toey contacts of any of the heads we've hit. So I'm only looking at 30 rev difference in spin and 0.1 of a difference in launch angle with the GT being a hair higher launch. But again, the standout bit here, you know, angle of attack is 0.1 of a degree, path 0.1 of a degree, half a degree, 0.7 on face angle is the consistency. So again, 85, 85 revolutions variable top to bottom on spin for the GT, 184 TSR4. Now both are very good, but we are still seeing again, that whole story of the weight moving around the head, the ability to position where they really want to, that consistency of performance, that is the bit that stands out across the board, all the GT range of products. So that's a real kind of story to why Titus have done what they've done with this series. So really interesting to see that highlight. You know, we're looking at a yard difference, but certainly you know, both low spin, both really solid feel, both nice compact look, but more consistent out of GT. So what conclusions can we draw from those tests? Now, granted, this is just for me on this day to day, um, but what conclusions can we draw? Ultimately, the Titleist have gone for this composite construction to improve the weight distribution and the consistency across the products. Yes, they're going for a little bit of speed, isn't every brand, but that consistency of performance, off-center off consistency, that is where the GT stands out versus TSR. That's where you're gonna see a real jump in performance from you know, GT to TSI, or even going back to TS. That's gonna augment model to model to model. So you may not see, as I'm not necessarily seeing, big ball speed gains, maybe that GT3 to TSR3 fairway, that, that maybe you are gonna see something, but it's that the fact that you've got the whole face to use, that consistency, consistency of flight, so much more repeatable shot. And really that, that is where these stand out. The GT3, the fairway woods, there's more of a difference and the three in particular, I think that's a standout head from them this year. Um, but across the board, really good range of products. Nice fact that the story and the design, we're seeing that come out in the results. That's always reassuring to a fitter. Uh, that means I know that I can put something in someone's hands in the fitting bay and we're gonna see that. So get yourself booked in try them out, share, like, subscribe, all the niceties. Have a watch of all our other videos as well. We've got loads of content on the site and we hope to see you very soon.